Eine Bowl. Who's this? That's Pete. Is he a shaman too? No, he works in Dixon's. Right, look, Nabu, you got to help me. Something really weird happened, yeah? Um, Howard came back from the dead. He said that when you get old, you can lose your hair. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Oh, no way, I can't have that. Have you got any lotions or potions? Anything? Oh, I've seen this being done. You're extracting the resin from its belly. No, it's not that. I just don't like this frog. I'm giving him a squeeze. Now, this is Nabu's miracle wax. Put this on your hair and it will make each follicle as strong as a horse's leg. Brilliant. Thanks, Nabu. You're a Peruvian genius. Oh, yeah, the other thing is I've got to rescue Howard from limbo. There's a mirror just there. Thanks, Nabu. I feel much better. Thing is, though, what am I going to do about Howard? Can you still get a discount on that digital camera? No, but if you buy a 64 megabyte card, you get a second one half price. What about a scar to phono lead? Yeah, I'll chuck one of those in. Come strap. We are right. Oh my god! It's a floating cup! For the love of Yahweh! Make it stop! <laughs> Welcome to the Mirror World! Who are you? I am Mr. Susan, guardian of the mirrors. What do you seek, stranger? I'm just looking for my mate Howard. He's, he's in limbo. Ah, limbo bimbo. One of these mirrors does lead to limbo, but only one. You must choose wisely, for there are over 17 mirrors in the mirror world. <laughs> mirror world? It's not really a mirror world, is it? It's more of a small room. What? Well, no, it isn't large, but a mirror will make a room appear larger. And anyway, you failed to take into account my mirror balls. Look at them shine. Look at them shine. Look at them shine. Look at them shine. Oh! Look at them shining. Oh, it's cold. That's enough. Now, it is time to choose, but choose wisely. For if you choose wrongly, you will replace me here in the mirror world for all eternity with nothing but your own reflection for company. <laughs> Sounds all right to me. What? Staring at your own reflection forever? Sounds great. You know, if you look over there, you can see your hair from every angle. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, vanity. I too was vain like you. Let me tell you the story of how I came to be in this mirrored prison. I haven't really got time for this. Freddy Fabrics. So we could move it along, you know? I've got to get to limbo. My name is Mr. Susan. And now it is time for you to do the choosing. Will it be this one here? Will it be this one here? Which one will you choose? Win or lose? Choose it now. Which one will it be? Which one will you choose? Shit. Oh, there it is. I can scarcely believe my powerful peeper. It does exist. Take a look, Stu. The fountain of youth. Wow, it looked different, boss. Well, they've done it all up, haven't they? It's all like here now, boy. Oh. There it is. The magic H2O comes cascading out of this shower head. And when liberally applied to my thin green body, it'll restore me to my former glory. And beauty, mind. Yeah, nice one. We're getting closer. It's not too far now. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you've always got a bad feeling, haven't you? Shut up, poor night face. Hey, they're oh. coming, boss. Huh? How'd that happen? Ah, don't you worry about it, boy. I've got one last trick up my Lambeth sleeve. Oh, Eagle Tree! Go about 
You're a wicked foul business. I am Evil Tree. Ah! Prepare to meet your doom. Don't let anyone panic. It'll be all right. As long as we stick together. Ah! Oh, thanks a lot, Howard. <laughs> got an idea. Come here, you little dresser. You little posh cabinet. Pop your little drawers out. Pop out your little drawers. <laughs> To meet your doom. <laughs> Sam! You better believe it! Hold these! Oh. Prepare to die, Tree! Wait! Perhaps we are not so different. What? Well, I am made of wood. So? And you are made of sandpaper. And? Paper comes from wood. What? If you kill me, you are killing yourself. Nice try! Ah! Ah! Wait! I'm gonna smooth you! Smooth you down! No! Wait! Oh, a little to the left! I am the DIY demon! Ah! Ah, I'll be back to varnish you later, you little pine tart! <laughs> Thank you! See you, Sam! Bye-bye! Who was that one, then? Oh, I've got me flower. Watch me shower. <laughs> I can feel myself getting younger. Each droplet taking me back to puberty. It's too late. Not quite. Nice work, Nabu. Cheers. If only the king was here, he'd be so proud. Perhaps the king is closer than you think. Who's that? It is I, the king. <laughs> All right, king. Nabu, nice hair. Thanks. What do you use? Fruit booster. Seaweed. I just leave my natural, Howard Moon. Well done, Nabu. You have defeated the evil cockney and averted great disaster. Come, reign with me. We shall enjoy a full range of lentil base dishes and listen to folk music every night. Actually, uh, I've got stuff on. Let's get out of it. Oh, well. Fare thee well, Nabu. I came as quickly as I could. I heard there was great trouble in the forest. Have you ever thought of investing in a watch? What time is it? It's four o'clock. Shit, I'll pick up the kids. What a burke. Howard Boone, you are to be thrown into the pit of eternal fire. For heinous crimes. But Bolo led a clean life. Yeah, but you bummed that fox. That's just a rumor. No smoke without fire. Which, incidentally, you'll be seeing quite a bit of from here on in. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian down here, aren't they? Shut your pie hole! Now prepare to die! Aren't I already dead? Well, it hurts more the second time. Now prepare to be cast into the eternal flames! Wait! Who are you? I'm Vince Noir. This is my mate. There's been a mix-up. You can't burn him. Who's going to stop me? I am. Well, I appreciate the gesture, but... A bit of a wasted journey, that, wasn't it? Did you bring anything? Like a gun, or... A fork? Enough! Now you shall burn! You and your wife with the ridiculous hair! Ridiculous hair? Have you seen yours? It's like Split End Central. Shut up! Well, look at it. It's an auburn fuzz. Shut your gob! You look ridiculous. It's like a ginger ball bag. Shut up, I say! I've always had problems with my hair. Even as a child. It's not curly. It's not straight. It somewhere in between. If I wash it, it becomes too dry. If I leave it, it becomes too greasy. I can't do a thing with it. Listen, have you heard of product? Straighteners? Finishing gel? Finishing gel? What is finishing gel? Where have you been? I could sort your hair out in six minutes. 
Why didn't you tell me about this? Davy, Nemo? You could do this for me? This is sheer liquid wonderment. For this smashing gift, I shall set you both free. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Naboo's miracle wax. Look at me. I'm so confident and feel strong and super sexy. Hit it! I'm the ape of death and I don't care. Cause I'm a monkey with a lovely hair. It's all fluffy and shiny too. Cause I got that miracle wax from a boohoo. Stranger, you look weary from your travels. Come, sit down and warm yourself by the fire. Thank you. There are only two kinds of people that venture this far into the depths of the jungle. A fool or an idiot. Well, if risking life and limb to rescue a great man makes me a fool, then call me a fool. Well, fool. Thanks. This person must be very important to you. He is important. He's my mentor. He's my hero. Maybe this hero is closer than you think. Howard Moon. How do you know my name? I thought you would recognize my voice. Oh my god. Alan Holdsworth. No, you numbnut! It is I, Tommy! Tommy! Woo now! Woo! What's happening there? Howard! Where are we? What's the problem? Where's Rudy? What, the geezer with the afro? Yeah. Oh, no, this happens all the time. You blow the wrong tune, haven't you? He's on duty do, I'm on duty da. Should get that changed, losing a lot of business. Why, what do you do? I'm a locksmith. Um, you haven't seen my mate Howard, have you? Kind of tall, scruffy hair, small eyes like a crab. Yeah, I have his abs, yeah, he's through there, talking to a geezer with a big head. Excellent, cheers. Thanks, mate, see you later. Don't be blowing that wrong number again, will you? Well, I walk home, do I? Brilliant. I have survived only by eating cheese. And as the saying goes, you are what you eat. And I am freaking cheese. <laughs> I've built up an enormous fatty deposit about my face, much like a camel. But you can barely notice. Yeah, Tommy, we've got to get you back. You're the only one who can stop the sale of a zoo. Hey, Howard. Ah, a mud! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What are you doing? I am a rocker. He is a mod. We are mortal enemies. This is a friend of mine. Oh, sorry. Who's this yellow lunatic? Vince, this is Tommy. I found him. I thought you said he was handsome. That's OK, Howard. The mod is right. I haven't aged well. But let me tell you something. 
Beauty is but skin deep, my pointy friend. Get ready for some Tommy magic. Here comes the wisdom. Yes, my face is hideous to behold. But when I dance, oh, how my beauty shines forth and lights up the jungle. Cheese is a kind of meat, a tasty yellow beef. I milk it from my teat, but I try to be discreet. Oh, cheese. Oh, cheese. Is that your hair? Yeah, it's gone a bit wrong. I'm gonna stick with Jagger. Oh, cheese is very Tommy, sweet. That's enough now. Come join me. No, this isn't a time for dancing, okay? We've got a long journey ahead. Fools! I know how to get out of the jungle instantly. How? Gather round. I will reveal all. Come closer. Not you, fire. Well, you've put on a nice spread, Greg. Added home economics. Really? I got an A+. Plus. I did a crumble. The teacher said mine was the best one. Well, I'm very pleased for you. You don't look happy, Howard. You picking up on that, are you? I could make you happy, Howard, if only you'd let me. Oh, I'm not another watercolour. You a musician, yeah? Yes, I am. But you ain't very good, are you? I'm one of the best in town. Come on, I read your reviews, hmm? You know what your problem is? What? You ain't got the funk. You're all rigid, hmm? You're like a breadstick. You got no rhythm. Yeah, well, I've heard all this sort of stuff before, thank you. Well, maybe I could help you. I got the funk. Yeah, I know, you're very funky, Greg. No, no, you don't understand. I mean, I got the funk right here. It's in this box. You see, the funk is a living creature. About the size of a medicine ball, but covered in teeth. Came from another planet. It landed on Bootsy Collins' house. Huh? Back then, Bootsy was just a simple farmer. But he took one look at all those mauve titties and he lost his mind. He began to milk the funk. Shit, this ball producing some sweet cream. Made himself a funk shake. Raise the Lord. He began to feel fizzy inside. He found he could see round corners. What the? Suddenly, he passed out. But when he came to, baby, he was slapping a bass guitar fast and loose like some kind of delirious funky priest. Oh, yeah. Two months later, he was world famous with his band, Parliament, and everybody wanted a piece of the funk. Rick Wakeman, even the Bee Gees. Oh, give me that funky milk. One day, Parliament were traveling on the mothership, fooling around with the funk. Where's it over? When George Clinton kicked the funk clean overboard. Oh, man. That was July the 2nd, 1979, the day the funk died. Two weeks later, I found the funk in bed with a conger eel. Oh, I've been rumbled. At first, I thought it was a sea anemone, but under closer inspection, I realized it was a funky ball of tits from outer space. I offered to take him back to Parliament, but he said he was done with that shit and that they never listened to him anyway and were only interested in his funky produce. So I let him live down here with me in this cave. That was a nice story, Greg. What's he gonna do with making me happy, exactly? I got a proposition for you, hmm? We could take the funk, make ourselves some tasty shakes, travel the world in a band, we'd become famous. We'd be the family funk. What, we can get out on dry land and get out of this place? Yes, sir. Well, let's do it, let's move, come on. Okay. Let's do it. Just one condition. What? That you take my sweet hand in marriage. Oh, God. Think about it, Howard. Funky freedom for marriage. You get what you want. Old Greg gets what he wants, hmm? A strong man to hold me at night when it's raining outside. We can get out of this cave forever. You bet your life. Do you accept? I do. Great. You've made me very happy. Oh, Greg's gonna pick himself out a nice wedding dress. That's right, crack open the fresh Baileys. I'm old Greg. 